So you've been asked to take wine to dinner. It can be a daunting task, so we stopped by the High Street Wine Company at The Pearl to show you three easy tips for selecting the best wine to go with that dinner. Reds for meats and whites for fish. This old saying still rings true. However, there are some exceptions. Lighter reds like Pinot Noir can typically pair well with meat or fish. Also, if the meal being served is pasta, then you can typically go with any Italian red and be golden. You can never go wrong with a dry rosé. If it's a meal that's a cross between fish and meat, then a dry rosé will always work as the middleman. Avoid sweet wines. Sweeter wines like Riesling or Moscato tend to not pair well with most foods. Sugar numbs the taste buds and makes it harder to taste the food or wine. So you may be asking yourself, what wine do I order when I'm actually out to dinner? There are some things to keep in mind when selecting off the wine list. Don't pick the cheapest or most expensive. Look for moderately priced wines and especially look for ones from smaller regions or non-US wines. Your go-to regions will be Spain, France, especially the Rhone Valley, Chile, and South Africa. These regions typically offer incredible wines anywhere between seven to $10, which is a great value. When in doubt, ask the server. The server will know what's new on the list and can usually point you in the right direction. Next tip, venture out of your wine comfort zone. No reasons to stick with only the popular wines like Chardonnay or Cab Sauv. Venture out and try new things and pair them with whatever foods you enjoy. And keep in mind, brand name does not matter and higher prices do not guarantee quality. And remember, temperature matters. White and rosé wines should always be chilled. But in the Texas heat, you should also be careful with your reds. Reds should be served at 60-ish degrees and Texas rooms are often much warmer than this. So for the summer months, throw your red wines in the fridge just for a few minutes before enjoying. And last tip, make sure to just venture out of your wine comfort zone and try different things. Remember, if you're drinking wine, then you're probably having a good time.